I once worked at a call center doing customer service for car manufacturers, and boy, it was a stressful job. Dealing with angry callers, crazy demands, and the overall office atmosphere really sucked the life out of me. Tons of crazy things happened when I was there, and I could probably make a full-fledged video on that stuff alone, but this experience definitely stuck with me. I had this customer that didn't take what I had to say very well. It was pretty funny now to think about it. The customer was looking for a rental because his vehicle was messed up, so I was looking through his information and based off of what I saw, I couldn't offer him one. In a perfect world, I could just toss out rentals to everyone left and right like Oprah Winfrey. I can't say her name. Oprah Winfrey. And with that comes the hardest part of that job, saying no to customers. It was quite the gamble because he had no clue how the customer would react. One would probably just go, oh, that's a shame. Well anyway, thank you for your time, I definitely appreciate that. While the next customer could just go, I explained the reason why he wasn't able to get a rental and I deeply apologized. This guy wasn't taking no for an answer though, he was indeed triggered. Yet again, I apologized and attempted to conclude the call. Thinking he would just take my word, I was waiting for him to hang up so I could get to the next call. But he was still on the line. Hello sir? Y yeah You're still on the line. Thank you for calling customer care again. Oh, so you can't hang up? Not really? This was my fatal flaw, and this is where things definitely hit the fan. We can't hang up on customers, it's definitely frowned upon in the office, and by me stating that I can't hang up, he took advantage of this big time. Since you wasted my time, I'm gonna waste yours. What? What the f- He just kept me on the line, saying nothing. He flat out muted me. Hoping to get out of the situation as fast as I can, I decided to break out the script that we use whenever a customer can't hear us. Hello, caller? Caller? I can't hear you. If you're- Yeah, I can hear you. This guy unmuted me just to say that and then muted me once more. I had to figure something out, but what do I even do? This guy had the heart of the cards and was playing me like a fiddle. After an awkward silence, I attempted to close the call once more, but the same thing happened again. So this happened like a total of three times. <sighs> not in my house. So by the third time I got denied, I was trying not to laugh or disrupt the whole office. You know, by bashing my face into the keyboard. So I had no choice but to hang up on this guy. He was a lost cause. After that whole episode, I just went to my team lead and explained the whole story. They found it pretty amusing. So I finally put out something on my channel that's pretty neat. So I did spend quite a bit of time on this. This was my second flash I ever made and with that, errors tend to happen and flash actually did crash and I had to redo a decent portion so I would have got it done a little bit earlier but yeah, there was that and work and nah. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, I would definitely subscribe if you would like to or just follow my Twitter. You would stay updated there. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Outside of that, we actually do have our first piece of uh, art on here. This was from Pixelmations and it's me. So that's definitely... A pretty neat thing so thanks a ton yeah I hope you enjoyed this I'll see you all soon